And welcome back everyone to Nights and Developments and in this tutorial we're going to go over a simple dying animation as you can see the NPC covers the wound that I made and then falls over when he dies this also works with your player as you can see I will hit the brick fall over and die instead of how it's set in the original game when a character dies they literally just fall apart and that that doesn't look really good not really professional and this is a very easy tutorial, it should take you about like 5 minutes and then if you have any problems just comment down below and I will go ahead and help you out. And let's get into the video. And we're going to go ahead and start off by going to Avatar Rig Builder and we're going to be using a R15 rig. Just because that's what most modern games now support. I'm just going to make a simple block rig in order to not confuse you with if I was to for example do my own character where it might not be exactly compatible. So. Now we're going to go ahead and click Animation Editor, select the rig, click the plus sign, add all body. This will just add every single component of your um, rig and you can separately animate every single part of it. And I'm going to start off by going to where it says left upper arm, holding shift and clicking right hand. This will literally just go ahead and select both of our arms. And I'm going to go ahead and use rotate, make sure your stud controllers are off. And then bef actually very important, very important before you do anything, please see this thing right here, the, the line or whatever, please move it to like 09 at least. This will just um, save the original position here. So when you start changing stuff, some will rotate it to right about like 90 degrees, it will save the original positioning here. If you don't do this, it's going to look like really weird. Okay, so rotate it about 90 and then put it right about like shoulder level. And I'm animating it this way because like most of the time the actual like rig is going to be hit from the front. So the character obviously covers up their, fruit, their wound or whatever and then it looks kind of cool. So go ahead and select one of the arms, doesn't matter which one. Actually, only the lower and the hand. Go ahead and rotate it. I don't know, something like this a little bit. And then move it just to where it doesn't look weird on this side. So a bit in, a bit forward. So you're making kind of like an elbow. And then you're also, now after you've done that, go ahead and select the whole arm and then rotate it inwards like this and then quickly just move it to where it is on um, part of the body so right about let's say here it doesn't have to be perfect but this is pretty good now we're going to do the same exact thing with the other arm so lower hand rotate right about there move here here select the whole arm go ahead and quickly just rotate it um right about there move it in boom now we have a character that is kind of holding his hands in go ahead select the head rotate the deselect everything except the head rotate the head kind of down as if he's looking down at oh well damage that you just did on him and I also like to move the legs for a little bit of an effect so let's say I'll take I don't know the right leg select the whole thing and then I'm gonna just go ahead and rotate it kind of out this way so it looks like he actually will be stepping back so I'll rotate it forward and then move it back and I'll explain why I'm doing this a little bit later I just kind of wanted to look like he's uh, I don't know stepping back from pain or something it sounds bad but it looks good and then this one I usually just kind of turn it in and maybe just a little bit forward like that now very important so hold on, cancel. so basically what you have here is character just does that he covers up I also like to add a little bit of a step back, so I'd move like 3 milliseconds. Actually, no. In the same frame here, go ahead and select the whole character. 
to hold shift. And I also like to kind of move him back a little bit as if he stepped back and then rotate the whole thing a little bit kind of this way. Wait, not, not too much though, so right about there, but make sure he doesn't leave the ground because it looks weird. So right about there is fine. Then move another 9 milliseconds, so to um, 0 0.18. Now we're gonna we're gonna set them on the ground. So go ahead, rotate fully, like this. Move. Character hits the ground. Right. Mm, that's about right. And as you can see from the way I animated it, he's on this shoulder. So in another point nine, I'm gonna have him actually roll over. And the reason I'm doing this is because just honestly for the looks, just. I like the way like when he falls and then rolls over just gives it a little bit of that more realism and then even that out here so it looks like he's actually laying down and then you can also move him to the side to where the roll will actually seem natural so if you go ahead and play this you will get something like this and then you can obviously work for with the timing and stuff and I would also recommend instead of it being one second long you actually make it I don't know, let's say two, just so we have that one second to kind of give the player a little break to where he will actually just lay there for another second. So as you can see, he falls, rolls over, and then lays there for like a second. You're going to go ahead, and this is also very important, click the three dots, and then set animation priority to action. And then I'm going to rename this into something like die anim. Sounds pretty cool. And go ahead and publish to Roblox. You don't actually have to change anything here. It's pretty good. Go ahead and click save. Let it load. Copy this ID here. And you can actually close because your animation is done. Now you're going to go ahead and go down to starter player. And then in the starter character scripts, click the plus sign and add a script, not a local script, normal script. And this is this part is actually very important. So make sure you don't misspell something. Rename this into death animation. And right here, super important, plus sign animation. Right now, if you misspell this, it's just not going to work. So call this death anim exactly how it says it right here. And then in the animation ID, go ahead and paste the animation ID that we literally just made with you. And then in the description below this video, you will find a link to this page right here, which will say something like death anim script. It's very short and simple. And I'll explain to you how it works in a second. Copy that, clear this out, paste it in. And then, so basically what it does is it looks for a parent, which is your uh, character that has a humanoid. It loads, obviously your animation, and then it just checks for death. So currently player is alive and then when health reaches below zero, which is well dying, it sets the dead to true, then humanoid um, gets anchored to play the animation, death animation plays. We wait a second after the animation plays. You can make this longer or shorter depending on for how long you want the character just kind of lay there. And then after that, it will turn off the anchor, destroy the script and then check for death. So you're basically done with this part now all of your actual players like people who will play your game will already have this with their player because it's a starter player but if you wanted this system to work with for example a npc or a rig like this you would go ahead and duplicate this and then shove it into the rig so take this put it into the rig and this will basically allowed your the rig to play the same animation we just made when it dies also if you're interested about this game that i'm using for this tutorial you don't actually have to have it but you could make it from the previous two videos i will link those down below or in this top right corner and let's test our system go ahead stab him as you can see he played the animation fell down and died and he's gonna lay there until well he's not gonna get up because he died but the point is, it works. Same thing with the player. If I go ahead and um, touch this kill cube, you can get this in the 
on the market it will just um kill your character and i'm using it to display the fact that our system works beautifully <sighs> animation plays character dies lays there for i don't know about a second and then respawns back and this obviously works with our rigs if you like the tutorial please like and subscribe if you have any other video ideas go ahead and let me down let me know down below join my discord server and see you in the next one